Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink, Diamond, Stefan, Marbury, and Starbury is always a fun point guard card to use in my team. I just want to see how good he really is. How does he match up to, number one, the best small point guards in the game, but can he compete against the top point guards in the game, the Oscars and Amens and Dante DiVincenzos and Lucas and Jeremy Lin, even the new cards that are really, really good at the point guard position, D-Book, whatever. Whoever people are running point guard, can Stefan compete? I'm not totally sure. Before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000, sorry, 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. What am I talking about? Uh, trying to hit 20K by the end of the month of February. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Also, massive shout out to my boy, Zach, for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. Without further ado, Starbury is 6'2 at point guard, so he's small, but he's got 99 offense, 99 defense, incredible all-around stats and badges. 94 driving layup, 96 mid-range, 94 three ball, 94 free throw, 95 driving duck, 96 ball handle, 95 pass accuracy, 96 steal, 95 perimeter, 85 interior is also very solid, 97 speed to a ball, 95 excel, 97 vert, 84 strength is great, 97 lateral quickness, I mean, he's an amazing, amazing card. 18 hoffs, 44 gold badges as a base card, insanely complete, hoff posterizer, agent three, dead eye, limitless, handles for days, dimer, clamps, glove, precision dunker, blow by speed booster triple strike right stick gripper bulldozer and 94 feet every other pretty much gold badge that you would want on a card is also on him with the exception of just a couple which to be fair you can add being probably i would say like rise up brick wall maybe a chase down artist post lockdown whatever if you want to put those on him and then you can't get a removal enforcer I can live without it. It's okay. He's already small. So the problem with this card is going to be the lack of size. And also I'm a little worried if his release is going to be a little bit baited. And if that release is a little baited, that is going to hold this card back. Ah, honestly, it's not bad. He's got D books or D Rose's base, but it's definitely a better upper than Derek Rose's upper is. And I'd say his size up and his between the legs are both good to burst off of too. Okay. So he's got pretty good sigs and a nice release. So overall, I, I actually like this card. He has a really nice misdirection. Ooh, hold. Oh my God. Nice behind the, okay. So the behind the back isn't incredible, but overall, all the movement's actually really nice good misdirection good escape good between the legs um good behind or decent behind the back fade is okay what fade does he have uh is that pro 2 hold on what fade does marbury have i'm pulling this up on 2kdb real quickly because i would like to see what fade he has because it seems like a pretty nice one it is pro 2 that's what i thought pro 2 is one of the best fades actually like arguably the best fade in the game it's right there anyway it's one of the best who would have thought Derek favors upper is, is is cash but it is and Derek rose release looks a lot better to be honest on Safa marbury it's also feels much quicker um uppers matter a lot this year he's also an exceptional slasher obviously defensively he's quite good he's just small at 6'2 i will say Say he's gonna be awesome i think he looks like honestly a better version of d rose and jaw at the same time how good does that really make him i'm not totally sure let's hop into a game let's see what he can do all right our opponent has draymond at point guard pg jonathan isaac wimby and oh man this is a big lineup all right well i wanted to see how size is going to affect this marbury card i think it might affect him we'll see it'd be interesting to see if this dude tries to attack uh the mismatch with draymond because i'm leaving him on ball here we're gonna see how he does against draymond uh he does have pretty good interior badges no immovable enforcer or brick wall though so like no post lockdown either i mean he's missing some stuff for sure but as long as he can stay walled up and yeah this dude clearly looks like he's already trying to go to this mesh match um as long as he can stay walled up we'll be in a decent spot now it'd be nice if we wouldn't crash off of the offensive glass and just give up wide open threes that's pretty fun but that's not high. I mean, it was good defensive possession to start off the game, and unfortunately, offensive rebounds suck, and we get scored on anyway. Stephon Marbury attacking the rim, draws a foul. This dude looks like he's just going to sit in the corner on defense and run around in circles on offense. He's your prototypical unlimited sweat bum this year. As you can see, he's got the MT logo. He's already completed unlimited. He's just one of those people who plays a very toxic play style, is my guess. At least that's what it looks like so far. Ton of size. He tried to backdoor Marbury first possession. He then two-man ran right at him, and then um, defensively just sat in the corner the whole possession. So looks like there's not a ton of skill to this dude play style he's just gonna try to cheese me to death good day starbury come on make a play then he is trying to fight i love the defensive activity i love the defensive activity by the starbury oh my goodness stefan marbury making a bro just stop back this dude sucks this dude is one of those he's just sending back doors he's standing there sending back doors from the opposite hash icon back dooring like you're just one of those this dude is one of those guys that is this dude is the reason that people complain about the gameplay he's the main reason the gameplay sucks anyway but people like this are the reason that the gameplay is so complained about and they're the most frustrating part about the gameplay because it's just hard off ball switch all garbage terrible low skill defense and low skill offense run around in circles back door on offense hard off ball on defense and switch stuff like it's garbage it's not skillful and it's unfortunately very tough to stop so 
Not a lot I can do about it. He backdoors again, gets another stand dunk, and I'm trying to be in good position there, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to get anything going so far. Uh, how much I want to be tries to switch this. Reject the screen. I'm not... I could, honestly, pretty good defense there. I'll give him that. Uh, attack downhill. I had a dunk, and he fouled me. Ooh, that's tough. I was going to get to the rim there with Stefan. If he'll stay on ball here defensively, I would appreciate that. That's a little bit more skillful. Come guard me. If you come guard me, I respect it. But, like, at least make an attempt to come guard. He doesn't want to guard. Whatever. We get to the rim. Run around Wimby. Wimby's too slow to stay with Stefan Marbury and his 97 speed. And we get downhill to that rim for our second dunk of the game. Even if I lose this game, I will live with it. This dude is very much your toxic cheese ball. This is about it. You're going to get test here. Honestly, can Marbury guard? Well, we're going to find out. Because the way this dude plays is going to expose everything he can't do. That's a good fade. He missed it, though. Good. We are all right on here now. Well, let's run the floor. Let's see if we can just run around, run around him, run around him, hit the hash. Kobe is too dang deep. He's wide open. I didn't mean to fade. Did I green it anyway? No, I did not. Tough. That's a choke too, honestly. That really kind of is because that was pretty good. He's just going to run around me and go to the rim. Oh my goodness. He missed the dunk. We're good. KP, can you get back to Wimby, please? I don't even know. He's trying to backdoor Paul George. We're doing the best we can defensively though. Good fade, honestly, with Paul. He missed it though. Good. This dude's not terrible. I don't know why people who are like decent at the game like this dude play such a like toxic play style though. Attack the rim. Come on, Starbury. Let's go. He is so quick. You literally just run around. You can get around dudes in a way that most guards can't. He is fast. That's something I did notice with D-Rose and Ja when I did gameplays with them as well. They are really fast and they feel fast. That should never go in. What in the... This game is so bad. Oh my gosh, this game is so bad. What in the world is that? That is so terrible. Great burst again. Throw it down to KP here. Mismatch should be a layup and it is. Beautiful stuff. Draymond's a great defender, but that's a like eight nine inch height advantage like i am going up with that every single time uh i think strawberry's playing great man he is competing as much as you could possibly ask for this card is is i'm gonna be honest height is the least important it's ever been in my team like it matters for sure and y'all will see i'm sure that it matters maybe even in this game but um it certainly does matter it just matters less than it ever has and i feel like offensively he actually moves really well which is really nice the thing about guys like d rose he's not gonna contest there on wimby but most guys aren't to be fair that's okay i just need to get not get blown by um the thing about him is that I didn't like about guys like Jaw and D Rose is how how well he actually dribbles. Like his his half court sigs are really nice, and that elevates the card. Also, his release just feels better than D Rose's. I know it's also D Rose based, but his upper is much better, uh, and it makes it feel much quicker, which makes it a much easier release in general. Good defense. We get a bump. This is our chance to extend the game. And oh my. CPU stop. I guess it's on me, but I can't stand that. Another CPU stop. He's just going to mash with Wimby. Oh, my Lord. It's just one of those games, man. Y'all y'all know how this game is, man. This is just one of those. This is the way you do, do, dude plays. It's tough to win against sometimes. It's beatable, but it's not easy by any means. Burst in here again. Swing it out to Paul George. Paul George catch and shoot open three ball. I need to green it, and I do. Assist for Starbury again. He's got eight and three. He also has takeover. Physical's take isn't generally the takeover I'm looking for, but I can work with it. Get to the back door, please. Now he's standing ducks on me again. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't know what you want me to do. I really don't. I can't get stops. He stand dunks everything. It is what it is. Like, we're doing the best we can. <laughs> Honestly, we're doing the best we can, and it is what it is. Swing the ball. I should have shot it. I had him. Oh, my gosh. I trolled. Uh, I have KP. Starbury. Swing one more. Yee. Open three ball. Green it. Let's go. Clutch shot up by two with 37 seconds left. He tried to go zone, and we get a three, and then he turns the ball over, throws a terrible pass or something. We can get a dagger here. Starbury. Oh, my goodness. That's uh Oh, that's not open. Chill, 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 chill. He fouls me. We're good. Going to the free throw line. We can win this game. I love beating players like this. This dude is not very good. He just plays very toxic with a huge lineup, and you can just see the way that he wants to play and the fact that we're going to defeat it using our actual small ball pg and with starberry actually hooping is what you love to see and the fact of the matter is it's because he's good he's a good card he moves well like this is a legitimately good point guard this is the best that i can remember a six foot two point guard being this late in the year in like recent memory with my team at all because like when's the last time a six foot two point guard was like a top five point guard in the game in february I actually think the Starbreak card, I slept on him big time. I thought I was too low, too high on him. I'm too low on him. He moves well. He, I, this card is really good. I, I legitimately think we have a six foot two top five point guard in the game. Who am I taking? I think I take him over Dante DiVincenzo. I do. So that puts him over. I mean, Oscar's better than him, I think. Amin Thompson, due to his size, you could argue is better, but doesn't have nearly the shooting ability. Um, Like, 
I think I take Starbury over a lot of cards, like a lot of cards at the point guard position. He might be a top three to five point guard in the game. 10 read points, four assists, one steal, three or three from the field, uh, a knockdown, a bunch of free throws as well. He played really well and he is a great, great card. I'm shocked how much I like this card. Yes, size matters, but unless you literally go up against somebody running like all six nines, he can pretty much hide on most players. So with the way the point guard position is right now and so many of the best point guards being kind of short, this Marbury card is super viable and he's definitely a great point guard in my team. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.